Hello, I'm Colin Cunningham, and this is Just Macro. Just Macro. Just Macro. How about we take a look at this shell? This is the shell of a flat scallop. It is the default, most iconic of shell shapes. It's made from calcium carbonate, which is your standard shell material, but the prominent ridge structure makes it highly durable. Well, we all have our limits, right? By taking a closer look at the surface, we can find evidence of other life. These rough white patches are called sea mat, the most common form of a colony of tiny animals called bryozoa. Coincidentally, I went to high school with a guy named Brian Zoa. Didn't really know him. This clean line was most likely cut by a mud blister worm. I'm about 80% sure. I just really didn't enjoy researching parasitic worms, sorry. Speaking of unpleasant things, have you ever actually seen a live scallop? Do, Yeah. Those blue dots are eyes. So, turns out we are all set here on Earth. No aliens needed. We've got plenty of freaky crap here already. Hmm. That shell was kind of boring. Let's take a look at... This shell. This is the shell of a sea urchin, which is somewhat confusingly referred to as a test, derived from the Latin term for rounded bowl, testa. I don't know why they didn't just call it that. The large opening is where the urchin's mouth was located. And this small opening is the location of the anus. The test's intricate surface pattern may seem festive, but of course it is all business. Each one of those cartoony little button bumps actually serves as the base for an unfriendly spine. Okay buddy, go play with the scallop. These tiny sets of pores house the urchin's tube feet, which it contracts and extends in order to perform its tubular locomotion. <laughs> Yeah, that's all I got. Back to you, me. Aren't you glad you took a closer look? 